Helldivers 2 has undergone many changes since its launch, but none were more impactful than the past two. The first one being where they nerfed the railgun because it was doing too much damage to everything, so they wanted to bring it back so that way people weren't using it as much. And then the most recent one where they actually dropped the health on the charger's head. The devs came out and said that the idea behind the nerf to the charger's head is that they wanted to make the community not rely so much on leg meta when dealing with chargers. One shot to the head with an anti-tank weapon should be plenty to get the job done. After I read these changes, I decided I wanted to have a little fun with this. I wanted to actually test every weapon stratagem in Helldivers 2 against chargers. And I know some of these aren't gonna work, but again, I just wanted to do it because why not? For science, right? So anyways, let's jump into the testing. So I wanted to break this up into four different categories. And the first one is the never use category. And this one is the machine gun, the Stalworth, and the antimateria rifle. This is a no brainer, right? Because these are not meant to deal with heavily armored units. I mean, technically, I guess the antimateria rifle in real life has got a big enough bullet to or something but still in the game sense it's not meant for that right so anyway these are no brainers because again the bullets are bouncing off the armor so they're not doing anything when they're hitting the chargers at all in any part of them unless you actually take away the armor and their little weak spot flesh area is exposed the next category is the ones that surprised me. And the first set of these is gonna be the auto cannon and the grenade launcher. So the auto cannon and the grenade launcher are delayed explosives. They can bounce off surfaces, but they more or less explode on impact in some sort of way. They aren't designed to deal with armor. They're not anti-tank weapons, I get it. But I figured at least they would explode and do some sort of damage and not just bounce off but I guess this is working as intended as the developers wanted. Also, I thought shooting the ground underneath the chargers of where the little weak spot was, especially on the backside, would actually do some damage, but it's inconsistent to say the least because it would do some and then it would bounce off or not be effective because of the armor. I don't know, it was just kind of wacky and they didn't work as well as I thought they would. The next one is the laser cannon and this laser cannon actually surprised me because I was expecting it to maybe chip away at the charger's armor over time, but it just bounced off of it like the other things. I just didn't quite understand because in real life, lasers tend to cut through metal and various things like that pretty easily. So I figured, okay, it may not be super effective against the chargers, but at least it would just sort of cut the armor up a little bit, but it didn't do anything like that. It just bounced off like everything else, which is pretty frustrating for me. The next three do really well against the chargers. I mean, they're not great, but they do well against the chargers and they also do well against handling chargers and mobs when you're being swarmed by all sorts of bugs. So the first of these being is the flamethrower. The flamethrower just absolutely melts chargers overall, especially when you're focus firing them. The most recent buff to flamethrowers in the first patch that they released really made them very much more of a viable option when dealing with not only chargers, but also all sorts of mobs all at once. Granted, you don't kill your team in the process because this is like unleashing the gates of hell all over the area you're in, but it, it does do well whenever you're fighting it all. But again, when you're spinning, spraying and praying because the chargers don't have any type of pattern when moving, it can get a little chaotic with a flamethrower, I will admit. The next one is the arc thrower, which is personally my favorite weapon right now, and it's becoming a lot of people's favorite weapons, but it's a similar story to the flamethrower, where this does a great job at chipping away at the chargers, and this one actually over-penetrates the chargers. It never really takes the armor. It does in a couple of rare circumstances, but in general, it over-penetrates the armor and hits the weak spot, so it will die in a really decent amount of time. And this is also good for multitasking because not only will you hit the chargers, but sometimes you hit mobs. And then when the charger charges you, you can focus fire on the swarms of bugs. And then it's good, it's a decent multitasker, but it can be a little cumbersome. But however, like the flamethrower, you have to be mindful because this will bounce off and hit your teammates and do all sorts of wacky stuff if you're not being conscious of where they are. The last of the good but not great is, of course, the rail gun, which was the best at one point. And this is still a viable option. Yeah, you can focus fire and destroy the armor and then hit the weak spot. It still works the same way, but it's gonna take you double the shots, if not triple the shots in some cases, depending on how good you are with the overcharge mechanic. Now, the thing that this is really bad against is when you're trying Trying to fight chargers and other enemies because you're trying to line up the shot trying to overcharge but then you got enemies swarming you whereas before it was quick enough to be able to destroy the armor pretty quickly and it wasn't that big of a deal but now since it takes longer this is much more noticeable in my opinion 
So the last category is, of course, the Charger Deleter weapons, if you want to call them that. These are the, all the anti-tank things. The first of which is the Recoilless Rifle. And this is probably one of the best things you can use to deal with Chargers and also Bile Titans, if you want to put them in this category. This, like the other rocket launchers, makes you pretty vulnerable at times because if you're sitting there trying to line up a shot with a rocket launcher, you could be getting hit by other enemies. So that is a bit of a problem. But in terms of its killing potential on the Chargers, it's pretty freaking consistent at just one-shotting them to the head with some exceptions if you hit them in the neck area. The next thing is the expendable tank, AKA the EAT, and this is just like the recoilless rifle. It just deletes chargers overall. This is probably the most powerful option you're gonna use and the most consistent option you're gonna use because even hitting the neck area, it's most likely going to kill the charger in one shot. The biggest weakness with the EAT is the fact that you only get one shot and then you gotta go find another rocket or you gotta call down another rocket. So if you mess up or miss or maybe hit the leg or something, then you're pretty much screwed. However, the biggest strength of this is that the cooldown is super low. So this is going to come back within a minute and a half, two minutes, depending on where you are with your ship upgrades. But this is pretty freaking quick. And it's like great for those oh crap moments. I need to deal with the charger because if maybe something else is on cooldown, you can just go ahead and just drop another one of these EATs because they come back so frequently. The last one is, of course, the spear, which is really good at dealing with chargers. The only thing it is not good at is dealing with chargers when they're in your face. The reason being is because this relies on a lock-on mechanic, and this is great if you've got distance between you and the charger, just lock on, and most times you can kill it in one to two shots at the most, but if you're gonna hit the head right away, it's gonna die quickly. But again, if this charger is in your face, this is basically useless. Unlike the EAT and the recoilless rifle, you can't just reactionarily shoot at the charger's head. You have to be at a certain range or it's just not gonna work for you. All right, so in conclusion, the best way to deal with chargers, of course, and we all knew this, is anti-tank. But I don't want you guys to discount the good but not great category because the arc thrower, the flamethrower, as well as the railgunner, still viable options with the arc thrower and the flamethrower being very good viable options. The flamethrower was has taken over the new meta as dealing with chargers for the most part. But then again, the arc thrower is just so versatile. You can just use it by itself the entire run. So this is actually probably the best gun to use when dealing with chargers. But at the end of the day, what's always gonna be best is having some of your team run anti-tank and then some of your team run add clear slash you can deal with chargers in tough situations. That's just by far the best way to do it in my opinion. And it works all the time. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this testing. Let me know if you guys have had some other experiences with some of these weapons, but it went about how I thought. But again, there was some ones in there that I was like, man, I kind of wish that would have done a little bit more. But anyway, guys, th th thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you do all the YouTube stuff and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.